Today's whiteboard is a continuation of our discussion on the four types of relation in the square of opposition. As mentioned previously, the four types of relations in the square of opposition are contrary, subcontrary, subalternation, and contradiction. Just to provide a quick recap of our previous discussion, Contrary is the relationship between universal affirmative and universal negative propositions. Hence, there is only one pair in contrary, that is, A and E. And both are universal propositions, but one is affirmative and the other negative. Now, let's talk about the second type of relation in the square of opposition, that is, Subcontrary. Subcontrary is the relationship between particular affirmative, I, and particular negative, O, propositions. Hence, there is only one pair in subcontrary, that is, I and O. And as we can see in the image of a square of opposition, subcontraries differ only in quality. Here are some examples. Some politicians are women. Some politicians are not women. Some mangoes in the basket are not ripe. Some mangoes in the basket are ripe. Rules in subcontrary. If one of the subcontraries is false, then the other is true. And if one is true, the other is doubtful. This is because subcontraries cannot be both false, but can be both true. Let us consider the examples earlier and assign truth value to them. If we assume that the proposition, some politicians are women, is false, then its subcontrary, some politicians are not women, is absolutely true. Of course, it is not true, therefore false, that some of the politicians are women. Then it is absolutely true that some of the politicians are not women. However, if we assume that the proposition, some mangoes in the basket are not ripe, is true, then its subcontrary, some mangoes in the basket are ripe, is doubtful or cannot be absolutely determined. In other words, it can be true or it can be false. Consider this. Imagine we are facing a basket of mangoes. Now, suppose we see that all mangoes in the side of the basket facing us are not ripe. Then the proposition, some mangoes in the basket are not ripe, is true. However, we cannot be certain about the truth value, therefore doubtful, of the proposition, some mangoes in the basket are ripe. This is because we see only one side of the basket that is full of mangoes. For sure, it is possible that the rest of the mangoes in the basket are not ripe. Therefore, some mangoes in the basket are ripe is false. Or, there is at least one mango on the other side or in the middle of the basket that we do not see because we are just facing one side of the basket that contains not ripe mangoes, that is ripe. Hence, some mangoes in the basket are ripe is true. That's it for now. Thanks for visiting us today for another whiteboard discussion here at Philo Notes. Full transcript of this video is available at philonotes.com. And to keep you updated of our newest videos, simply click here and subscribe and tap the bell for notifications. Thanks! Take care!